Unit 7, Lesson 14, Distances on a Coordinate Plane. Number 1. Here are four points on a coordinate plane. A. Label each point with its coordinates. The coordinates for point K are negative 3 and positive 3. 3 to the left on the x-axis and 3 up along the y-axis. The coordinates for the point labeled X are 3 and 2. 3 to the right along the x-axis and 2 up along the y-axis. The coordinates for the point labeled M are negative 5 and negative 4. 5 to the left along the x-axis and 4 down along the y-axis. And the coordinates for the point labeled Y are 2 and negative 3. That's 2 to the right along the x-axis and 3 down along the y-axis. B. Plot a point that is 3 units from point K. Label it P. And I put negative 3 and 0. So 3 to the left along the x-axis and 0 up or down on the y-axis. There's many choices to choose from. This is just the one that I came up with. C. Plot a point that is two units from point M. Label it W. Again, there's a lot of choices, but the one that I came up with was negative 3 and negative 4. That's 3 to the left along the x-axis and 4 down along the y-axis. Number 2. Each set of points are connected to form a line segment. What is the length of each? A. A equals coordinates 3 and 5. And B equals coordinates 3 and 6. Well, we notice that the X coordinate is the same. They're both 3. But the Y coordinate is different. The difference between 5 and 6 is 1. So the line segment is one unit in length. B. The point C has coordinates negative 2 and negative 3. And point D has coordinates negative 2 and negative 6. Their X coordinates are both negative 2, but their Y coordinates are different. The difference between negative 3 and negative 6 is 3 units. So the line segment would be 3 units long. C. The coordinates for point E are negative 3 and 1, and the coordinates for point F are negative 3 and negative 1. Their X coordinates are the same, but their Y coordinates are different, and the difference between 1 and negative 1 is 2 units, so the length of the line segment would be 2 units long. Number 3. On the coordinate plane, plot four points that are each three units away from point P, and point P is equal to coordinates negative 2 and negative 1. Write the coordinates of each point. First, I plotted the point P. I went 2 to the left along the x-axis and 1 down along the y-axis. They asked me to plot four points that are each three units away from point P. In blue, I have one point that is negative 5 and negative 1. In green, I have another point with coordinates negative 2 and positive 2. In red, I have another point with coordinates negative 2 and negative 4. And finally, the fourth point in purple has coordinates 1 and negative 1. Number 4. Noah's recipe for sparkling orange juice uses 4 liters of orange juice and 5 liters of soda water. A. Noah prepares large batches of sparkling orange juice for school parties. He usually knows the total number of liters, T, that he needs to prepare. Write an equation that shows how Noah can find S, the number of liters of soda water, if he knows T. Well, I notice that 
For every four liters of orange juice, he uses five liters of soda water, totaling nine liters of sparkling orange juice. So the amount of soda water is always going to be five liters out of nine liters. So to figure out how much soda water he would need if he knew T, he would multiply five ninths times T. So the equation would be S equals five ninths T. B. Sometimes the school purchases a certain number, J, of liters of orange juice. And Noah needs to figure out how much sparkling orange juice he can make. Write an equation that Noah can use to find T if he knows J. T would equal 9 fourths times J, or T equals 9 fourths J. Number 5. For a suitcase to be checked on a flight instead of carried by hand, it can weigh at most 50 pounds. Andre's suitcase weighs 23 kilograms. Can Andre check his suitcase? Explain or show your reasoning. Note, 10 kilograms is just about 22 pounds. So they told us that 10 kilograms weighed just about 22 pounds. Since the suitcase can weigh at most 50 pounds, I need to turn the 22 pounds into 50 pounds, and I'm going to do that by turning it into 1 pound first. 22 pounds divided by 22 equals 1, or 1 pound. Since I divided the pounds by 22, or made it 22 times smaller, I also need to make the kilograms 22 times smaller, or divide 10 kilograms by 22. 10 divided by 22 is the same as 10 over 22. So 10 over 22 kilograms equals 1 pound. Next, I'm going to multiply the 1 pound times 50, so I can make the right-hand side equivalent to 50 pounds. 1 times 50 equals 50. And since I made the pounds side 50 times larger, I need to make the kilogram side 50 times larger. So 10 over 22 times 50 equals 500 over 22. And 500 over 22 means 500 divided by 22. So 500 divided by 22 equals 22 point something. I ran out of room while doing my division problem and I thought to myself, well the largest number that could possibly go in that box would be a 9. And then I thought to myself, well 22.9 kilograms is less than 23 kilograms. So the answer would be yes, Andre can check his suitcase. By the way, 500 divided by 22 is 22.7272 repeated, so it is less than 23. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 7, Lesson 14, Distances on a Coordinate Plane.